What is that? We just talked about nothing brewing in the tropics. This comes out today, Monday afternoon. That's that area that might be following Invest 93 and maybe Alberto in the next seven days. It's a wave right now currently by Lesser and Tilly's. But this is the one that I've been talking a lot about on my channels. This is showing up a little stronger today around July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, okay? Future satellite shows you this area the NHC is highlighting going off that way. But look at this one right about there. Starting to organize around the Caribbean, pulling north a little bit. Now, latest afternoon models on tropicaltibbets.com. Euro showing it organized. CMC starting to, and so is the GFS. All those same time stamps, okay? That was, you know, consistency is what we look for. Uh, again, your your ensemble plots. These are 51 members of the Euro on weathernerds.org. You can see quite a few of them starting to show that. That's why I'm talking about it. Let everybody know what we might be looking at next. These are ensembles showing you a wide range of possibilities. You're going to start to see runs from Louisiana to Florida to Carolina. We don't know where these things go past seven days, even if we're going to get anything. But the trend is pulling up. Now, water temperatures. This is your anomaly map. Water temps are warm. That's why this could happen a little earlier than we normally see later in the season stuff. So yeah, got my eye on it. First part of July, Caribbean. Now, this is a time map. I always like to share this one. If we were to get something to pop off of Africa here, look at the blue. That's 12 to 14 days before it could possibly reach the continental U.S. Two weeks almost of tracking. 